Well, there's nothing like starting your day in paradise, am I right? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Life RP. And yeah, I could really get used to living in this mansion. Like, it is nice out here. I mean, this is where I sleep, like, in the bunk beds. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it's quite nice. I have a chicken farm right here that I can go and visit in the morning. I mean, they, they've got nothing on Toby, but... And just look at the view as well. I mean, there's no one out here to disturb you. I have mafia members protecting me, and there's not a single police officer on the island. However, the longer I look at the back of my bald head, the less I like it. Now, nothing against bald heads. My dad actually has one of them. It's just not for everyone. And I just don't think my character suits a bald head, which is why I have this hat, which I'll be wearing for the foreseeable. Now, I don't think Alistair's actually home right now. I think he's out taking care of some business. But the plan today... So if you remember in the last episode, I mentioned I wanted to try and investigate the FBI and, well, we got a little sidetracked. Well, today, hopefully, I can get one step closer to clearing my name. But before we continue, I need to stop the video here because your boy got himself a sponsor. We're really moving up in the world. Now, before you ask, is it Raid Shadow Legends? Yes, it is. If you somehow don't know about Raid, let me tell you a bit about it. It's the best mobile MMORPG around with PvP and PvE battles, a gigantic array of champions to collect and upgrade, and new updates coming all the time. Now, collecting champions really is the forefront of Raid, and there's so many to collect, but my favourite combo is easily Arbiter, Martyr, Ray, and Skull Crown. It's almost unbeatable. What I really like about the game as well is how in-depth it all is. You can really dive deep into your champion picks, choosing the right upgrade, and the right combination to fit different scenarios. I also really like the auto raid button. It means I can just set my champions off on an adventure and then when I come back, I can claim my rewards. This month, there's a ton happening in raid with special events every single day, new champions and the new guardian ring which gives you so many new ways to use champions. Oh, and at the start of December, raid are releasing one of their biggest updates ever so now is the perfect time to start playing. And if you want a head start, just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen now to get the new hero called Chinoru, 200k silver, an XP boost, an energy refill, and an ancient shard so you can summon a champion as soon as you start playing. But you've got to go fast because these rewards will only be in your inbox for 30 days. So I'd really appreciate it if you could show Raid some love for sponsoring your boy. And now, let's get back on to the video. Oh, Alice is back, just in time. There he is. Hey, Alistair, how's it going, man? Oh. Everything's you... doing all right. How are you doing? I'm not bad. Are you, uh, are you in the middle of something here? No. Right then. Anything on the agenda for today or have we got a clear schedule? Uh, actually, yes. I have a job for you. Oh, lovely. So soon? Mm-hmm. Gotta keep you busy. Now it's very important. All right, what do you need? Groceries. Some milk, some vegetables, really, and uh, some firearms. Just the usual, then, yeah? Okay. What happened to all the guns in here? This used to be, like, stacked. What? Uh, money. Where exactly do you want me to get a bunch of firearms from? I hope you've got, like, a plan in mind, There will be a right? dealer in the industrial zone. An old contact, man. Ah. I guess just give me the logistics, time, the uh, price and whatnot. We'll just say that we are having a trade of merchandise. Honestly, if you want to meet him anytime, just get it done quick. You should just follow me. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. A trade for a trade. Mm-hmm. Ever since you took care of that little foreign on my side, business has been booming. I can imagine. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I can get these loaded up and meet that guy. I just need to do one quick thing beforehand. This has just reminded me, actually. Well, uh, while you're doing that, I think I'll be playing this mobile game on my phone. Oh, what what, what might that be called? Out of curiosity. Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, hell yeah, brother. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'll be I'll be. <laughs> Now, living at the mansion, I've seen just how much money Alistair is pulling in from all these drug sales. And that's kind of made me want to get in on that. Especially now that the Viper's farm's out of action. And of course, since the hangar is the only property I have that the police aren't staking out because it's on the island, I may as well put it to good use. I think Justin's here already. He's been cooking up all day, so... Hey, oh, Justin, my boy. How's it going? Well, we're actually going to write. We're just setting up ingredients right now. We're trying not to burn down the kitchen like we did last time, but real quick, because we're in a bit of a rush order right now, we oh. need to fill up the shelf by, by the end of the day, kind of. So we oh. we got to scrub in. Well, I think it might be time for uh, to bust out the old cooking show then, yeah? Oh, I'm getting the camera. Hold on. Hey, you ready? Let's yes, do it. Sir. Well, 
welcome to Cooking with Alex and Justin. Today we have a very special task. We are making a ton of snow and a ton of crystal. So the ingredients you're gonna need for this is simple. You're gonna need some blue liquid, some pink liquid, and some purple liquid. And of course, your grandma's favorite baking tray. All right, so if I remember rightly, we just have to put the acid in the barrel and now then it gives have... you the tray. Yeah, now we have to put it in the freezer, right? We do indeed, we do indeed. Okay, so for this next dish, shall we say, you're only gonna need even simpler ingredients. All you're gonna need is some coca plants, a stove, and of course, your grandma's favorite pan. I will get some uh -huh. of these leaves over here. Are these grown? Uh, yes, they pan. are. And where's our pans? I place this in here. And we leave it to cook. All right, while that's cooking, I'm gonna go check on our uh, crystal. And it's done. And if we just take it, it turns if into a bag. All oh, right. And then you slap it on the shelf. That's our first bag on the shelf. Hey, it's all cooked. Look at that. And now I believe we just have to leave it to dry. But we have a two-in-one stove and drying rack here, so we can just leave it a bit longer and it should dry. And would you look at that? It is nice and dry. So now we just need to bag this up and we'll be good to go. I tell you what, I'll hold the bag. You do the pouring. Okay. That is Ready. one bag of snow. Let's add this to the shelf. Oh, Currents we're making progress. We really are. Well, Justin, we did it. Do you need a hand loading this up then, I guess? Because you're going to want to be distributing these pretty soon, right? Hold on a second. Don't we have all of the little minions running around? What about what's happened to these guys? All right, look at this. Look at us go. <laughs> boxes on boxes on boxes. This is a lot. Hey, we're going to turn a pretty profit with this, aren't we? A couple of runs with this. This is not going to fit in the plane. Yeah, of course. Well, well um, if that's okay, I'll leave you to do that because I actually do have somewhere I need to be. Is Alex still requesting your services again? He is indeed, but um, I can handle it. It's just, a, it's just a little thing. Yeah, you should get these distributed. Let me know, like, profit-wise, what we come back with. All right, now I need to do this delivery for Alistair. Look at this. See, this is why I do jobs for you. You know, your men are very, very kind. They're doing all mm -hmm. the manual labor for me. I don't have to carry a single thing. Indeed they are. I mm -hmm. knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty much everything mm -hmm. loaded up then. Thanks for the hand. I'll be back with all the weapons, I suppose. I like to think you will be. All right, see you later. You see, these sort of jobs where I'm not risking my life, I like these sort of jobs. Oh, dear. Oh, this guy's not having a good time. All right, now I think the exact location is uh, these garages over here, and I believe it's one of the end ones. Let me just... Oh, is this the guy? I actually don't know. I'm just gonna back in and see. This might just be a random person. That's an empty van, so I'm not too sure. Hello, are you a contact of Alistair Pines? Hello, indeed. Oh, um, brilliant. I'm the person you want to speak to. Oh, you are. Yeah, Let me show yeah, you yeah. what I got. Yeah, please do. Oh, damn, okay. This is just a small uh, amount of my weaponry. This As looks amazing. See. Jeez, yeah, you've got <laughs> you've got everything here. I guess uh, the deal's already been cut out, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, have you got the other stuff? I do. It's in the back of the truck there if you want to have a look. Looks pretty good to me. I guess yeah, we can well, just... Uh, yeah, we can start making the transfer if you want. Let's see here... I think this should all fit. All right, I think that's going to be the last of it, yeah? All right, looks good. All right, have a good one. You too, man. It's been a pleasure. Okay, well, that went pretty smoothly. Okie dokie. All right, this is a lot of weapons on the back of this truck. Let's just... Oh. Stop right there. Uh... Get out of right now. Okay. Wait a second. Come on, show me those hands. Liz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. Listen, man. Ah, well, out the turntables. Out the turntables, indeed. So, this is how it feels to be on the other end. I want to give you the exact same feeling I had. So let's start with this, <sighs> yeah? Oh, man, I didn't beat you. Not every day you get kidnapped because someone breaks into your house. 
But I do say it's it's a good feeling, but I have some reputation to uphold, so let's cut it there, right? What do you want with me, bro? Like, well done. You got me. Okay, what's well, next? A bunch of FBI gonna show up and take me away? Well, that's the thing. I could turn you in right now. Simple as that. It will be all done. Believe it or not, I got you in here just to get you an offer. To give me an offer? I have a capability, you know, to walk into that office where you are hiding all the money and take it. Because you can't go there. The rest of PD, they're stalking that place. As soon as you show up, you're going to get arrested. But I can. But it's an offer here. I get 50% of the cut. 50%? You know, that, that would be stealing, Officer Liz. I uh, hope you know that. It seems you and I really aren't that different after all. The question is, how can I know that I can trust you? You know, how do I know this isn't just some big elaborate setup? Well, that's the thing. How can I know that I, I can actually trust you? We both don't want to end this in a bloodbath. So, it's a deal then? All right. Yeah, we've got a deal but on my terms. Okay, so you conduct the search tonight and then tomorrow night you meet me at the industrial area with the money. We do the split and we walk our separate ways. I know, I know I'm calling the shots in handcuffs right now, but... Oh, bro, you took my hat. Yeah, I like the look on you. It suits you. Do you well, trust me enough to take these cuffs off me? I do, in fact. We're just talking about trust and you took my hat. I don't believe it. Is it in here? I bet it's in here, isn't it? There yeah, it is. So we have the deal, yeah? Did you fix your window yet, by the way? Unfortunately not. Yeah, you gotta pay me back for that, by the way. I will, I will. Bro, with your 50%, don't you worry about it. Get the truck and get ready to back it up for towing. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 guys, 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 okay. guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is my truck. Can I, is there any chance I could just take this real quick? I didn't mean to leave it here. It's been parked here for hours. I, I know it has. That wasn't my intention, I promise. Look, um, listen. Okay, money-wise, I've just got a toonie on me. But what I can offer you fellas today... Oh, let's see here. This'll do. Is two very expensive guns. You can either take it or leave it. And I would recommend taking it. Because I'm taking this truck one way or another. Do it. <laughs> Alright, have a good day, sir. This We were never here, and we never saw your truck. Brilliant, that's what we like to hear. Nice one, thank you very much. That was a close one. Okay. All right. Let's get this back to Alistair without any more hiccups. Wow, that was wild. All right, Alistair, where would you want him? Just anywhere? Yeah, anywhere there. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, look at that. All nice and stocked. Did you uh, run into any problems? Well, not with the deal, but remember that cop that I kidnapped and then he escaped? Yeah, well, uh, he found me and gave me a taste of my own medicine. However, he claims to be corrupt and he wants to strike a deal. So I was going to ask if I could use some manpower just in case things ah. go south because I'm supposed to be meeting him tomorrow. I'll have somebody nearby, do not worry. That would be absolutely splendid, thank you. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, the deal went well. Most importantly of all, did you get the milk? Oh, man. Come on, man. It's like the one thing I asked. I will get you that milk. Help. If I have to milk a cow myself, I will get you that milk. Well, I wonder if Laze is actually going through the plan then and actually conducting a little pretend search on my office. Remember, guys, we're looking for drugs. Oh, okay. Hey, Lays, have you found anything? Oh, uh, nothing yet, but I got this one covered. Don't you worry. Yeah, alrighty then. We got nothing here. Let's head out. Okay, fellas. It shouldn't be too big of a task, but basically, I'm supposed to be meeting uh, Officer Lays at the industrial area, but I want to get there a bit early just to set up in case it's a ruse and he, he tries to pull a sneaky one. So, you know, if the FBI do come, then just be prepared for a fight and a big one at that. All right, off we go. Let's do this. See you later, Alistair. All right, let's just hope this goes smoothly. Okay, it looks really quiet down there, actually. Okay, cool. 
All right, boys, uh, just split up, I guess, around the general area. Uh, get into a position which is rather quiet, and uh, we should be good to do this. We have mafia members, like, everywhere. So if this is an ambush, like, we have one up there. We have one there. One up here with me, I believe. I don't even know where else there's, there's mafia members. They're, they're that well hidden. No, that's not him. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's got to be him. Is he alone? Looks like it. Don't think there's hey, anyone no, that's... You're here, pavilion. Didn't bring any... Okay, it looks like these didn't bring anyone with them. Alright, I'm going to head down there. Just uh, hold your fire. It could still go wrong, so I'm being very cautious. Les, is that you? It isn't. You did it? So, I did indeed. Didn't bring any company. Just as promised. Alright, well, here's your car. Oh my goodness, <laughs> he actually did it, he actually did it. I don't want to be staying here too long, you know? All right, I'm guessing you've got the other half, yeah? I do. <laughs> it's a pleasure doing business. I never thought I'd be in this position, but here we are. Maybe we'll paths meet again sometime. Yeah, maybe so, maybe so. It was a pleasure. Yeah, likewise, likewise. Have a good one, bro. Yeah. Wow, he actually did it. He actually went through with the deal. I'm half surprised, but also relieved. All right, boys, it, it was a success. There was no, there's no setup. Here's our ride. But yeah, I had about two million at the office and I now have a million of that in my backpack and a million has gone to Lays, which I know is a lot and 50-50, yeah, I wasn't happy about it either, but it literally was the only way to get my money. Oh hey, that's our flame. All the product must have been delivered, they must be coming back with the profits. And there's Alistair. Wonderful. Smooth sailing that was, Alistair. Since the plane just landed, I may as well go see how profitable this little trip was. Justin, you in there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm upstairs. Oh, okay. So, how'd no, it go? Well, we made 485, so that's pretty nice. good. Nice! That'll pay off some of the workers and the ingredients, hopefully, and the plane fuel. But other than that, no, we've turned a, a, a neat profit. This is pretty much the only uh, location of mine that I can actually access without the police, you know, riddling it. So it's a good job that it can make money, right? I'll see you. Cheers, dude. Much appreciated. Okay, well, I think we're going to end the episode here. Um, today has actually been really successful and unexpectedly as well. I've got like half the money from my office back, which is the best I could have got. Uh, and we've had a successful little uh, run at the lab. So yeah, as I said, I'm going to end the episode here. So I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to get subscribed for new episodes. And I'll see you in the next one.